murder some people and he will have to get rid of the body. <laughs> Whoa. The four serving recipe, but. Correct. Ready? Yeah. Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity. So today we're gonna eat some sloppy joe. Well, this is um probably a lunch that I've had when I was in elementary school. Ever since then, I haven't had any sloppy joe. So it's been around like 10, no, more than that. Like 15 years since I had one. So let's try it. Ooh. Super easy to make and super sloppy. Hi Angel, can I help you? No, you can't. Oh my goodness. Some pickle. Mm. It's good. Well, there's many ways to make sloppy joe. You can make your own way, but this one is just ground beef, pan, stir it, and then put some onion, put some bell pepper, and some tiny bit of mustard with some seasoning, and you can add barbecue sauce, you could add whatever you want. But you will get sloppy. The origin wise, there's so many. I don't really, I can't really find where it started. Um, because I guess people been making something like this rather than a traditional burger. So there's something similar called loose meat burger. Oh. It was predicted that it was invented in 1930s at Iowa restaurant. A chef named Joe decided to add some like mashed 
tomatoes. Introduce loose meat burger. But there are many many other claims that to say they invented sloppy joe. But because they called it something different. However, when I was in elementary, whenever we ate a sloppy joe, somebody at our table told us like, oh, do you know why it's called sloppy joe? And I believed it. I believed that story until this day. They said, basically, a guy named Joe murdered some people. And he will have to get rid of the body. He decided to chop it up, make it into a sandwich, and serve it to the neighbor. And the families, too. And when they ate it, have this bit sloppy, Joe. That's why... Supposedly, Sloppy Joe were invented. That's what I've heard in elementary. I heard something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but also, that rumor could have started because a company named Man Meat decided to uh, commercialize it in the 1960s. You know, when I first came to America, and you know, like I got lunch from you know, my elementary school, sometimes they give us sloppy joe and sometimes they give us uh, chilies, mm. but they're the same thing. I bet. <laughs> and they use, uh, use like Chinese newspapers. <laughs> I feel like when you start a new school, where you sit at lunch is super important. When you start school? Yeah, like fresh. Not in elementary. Maybe now, back then, it didn't really matter in elementary. Mm -hmm. I was at the Asian table in high school. I was an <laughs> in international table. So elementary, I sat with a lot of international kids, uh -huh. some Asian, some Chinese, some like other like Russian, Bulgarian, all that. And I guess that's when you kind of start branching out into junior high. People who you still keep in touch with is the person that you probably meet and hang out uh -huh. at junior high. But junior high, I moved. No, junior high moved to uh, like Buffalo Grove, oh, yeah. this different area. Mm. So it was a lonely, lonely time. Even there, I hung out with a lot of international kids. This does get really sloppy. I bit my lip. Ow. I hate it when that happens. I love it. <laughs> Everybody hates it. <laughs> You're probably gonna fight the same spot tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> If you think about it, that's so sad. Like, 
it's your own fault, but you can't get mad at anybody else. And <laughs> and you chew it again and get. Tongue. Like even when I stomp my feet on the furniture that's been there for like years, <laughs> I start blaming the furniture and stuff. Like, why is this here? Who decided to put the crap ankle? here? Like everywhere. Yeah, you definitely like bibs or napkin juice, but... Yeah. But oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, it's been a long time, but... Yeah. No. <laughs> this is delicious.